So the holiday season is almost here and I am so excited to be able to travel this year, but getting ready to travel can be a little bit stressful. Have you ever found yourself wondering why does this feel so stressful and I haven't even left the house yet? Well, that used to be me, but I have learned that just a little bit of planning makes it all come together very easily with no stress and no regret. This video is about planning a travel capsule wardrobe so that you feel completely appropriate and comfortable when you get to your destination. So let's get to it. I start every packing adventure with an outfit planning template that I purchased on Etsy and I will link that down below in case you wanna see it. Now I am a digital planner person and what that means is I use these templates on OneNote on my tablet. I don't print them out and use them on a piece of paper but you could do that just as easily. But I've got mine here in my OneNote notebook in my planner so let's get started. So this trip I'm taking is for Thanksgiving and we'll be gone for one week. We are leaving on a Sunday and we're returning on a Saturday so that'll be our week of travel. So I'm just going to start by checking off the number of days that we're going to be going. I have this template set up for planning up to three weeks, but this particular trip is only going to be for one week. And while I'm here, I'm gonna make some notes. I have, we are traveling by boat. It is almost all of our time is almost going to be spent with family. We are traveling to visit our family. So our vacation is going to consist of all family time. And because we are on the Texas Gulf Coast, Thanksgiving is generally not too hot, not too cold. It's a really nice, pretty comfortable time of year here for us. The average temperature in the evening is gonna be 55 and it's gonna be about 75 degrees every day. So the weather's just supposed to be beautiful. So I am going to note the weather forecast on my planner sheet. So once I have the weather conditions noted and any other notes that I wanna keep in mind when I'm planning my outfits, I go through and I note what my plans are going to be for each day, what my daytime plans are gonna be and also what my evening plans are gonna be. It's really simple. I really just follow the worksheet. So the first day is gonna be a boat day and that means we will wake up early on the boat, we will be traveling all day and then we will go to bed on the boat. It takes a full day to travel from where we live to where my family lives so we won't be doing Doing anything else those days. So the first day and the last day are boat days. So once I have all the details of my trip, and by details I mean the weather details and the activity details that are planned for my trip, I go in and I start planning out outfits. Now I'm not planning outfits by the specific piece, I'm planning outfits by the general pieces that I would like to wear on these days. So a boat day in November is a beautiful day, but it's just a hoodie and leggings. And I know I have two of these days on my itinerary. So I'm gonna note that in both places. Now for a family day, I just wanna wear jeans and a sweater and probably boots because my feet get cold. Now on the day that I am working with my sister-in-law in her closet, I wanna be really, really comfy. I don't wanna be constricted at all. So this is probably going to be another hoodie and leggings outfit. Now because these events are all going to be so incredibly casual, it's fine that I wear jeans and a top every day. So I'm gonna wear jeans just about every day that I'm not wearing leggings. Now one of the features I really like about this worksheet is that it allows you a space to plan for a daytime outfit and an evening outfit. For this particular trip, I don't need those because I can wear the same outfit in the evening that I've been wearing all day. That works for me, but for most trips, I do have separate evening outfits on at least one or two days of the trip. So that's something I really appreciate about this particular planning worksheet. Now for Thanksgiving day, I will be cooking with my family. I will be enjoying a great meal with my family and we will be very thankful to be all together enjoying our time together. But this year, I'm also planning a after party for Thanksgiving for my family. We're going to have a big game night and game night in my family is a pretty active affair. Like we're, it, it's, it's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but it's gonna be a Thing. So on that day, I'm going to be certain to dress in layers because I'm sure on that day when we're doing the hula hoop rodeo, I might get a little too warm and I want to be dressed in layers so that I can have them if I need them and shed them if I don't. Now, as I'm looking through my outfit planner, I see that I'm really wearing just jeans almost every day and I don't like to wear jeans every single day. I want a little bit of variety. So I am going to plan one skirt, boots, sweater outfit just for a little variety so I don't get bored. Now that I know what types of outfits I need for this trip, let's go to the closet and pull the pieces that are going to bring them all together. All right, so we've made it back to my favorite place in the house, my closet. And here in my closet, I'm gonna choose the mix and match pieces I need to create the outfits I've decided I wanna take with me. Let's get to that. You can see I've got my planner set up here in the closet and I'm gonna change my pen type to a highlighter so I can just check these things off as I go. I need a pair of leggings and I'm just gonna choose athletic leggings for my boat days. 
down to my next boat day and I've got that. Now I also wanna wear a leggings outfit while I'm there, but I don't want it to be athletic leggings. I want it to look a little bit more elevated than that. So I'm going to be taking my Spanx faux leather leggings along with me for that day. So let me go check those off. That'll be my working in the closet day. Now I need the big comfy hoodie for those travel days on the water. So I'll be taking this big oversized hoodie that is so comfortable. It's like living in a little cocoon and I love it. I don't have any problem wearing the same outfit for both travel days coming and going. I do have a washer dryer on the boat. So when I get my clothes dirty, I can also get them clean. I can see from my outfit planner that I have planned three jeans outfits. And while I certainly do not mind re-wearing pieces over and over again, I don't wanna wear the same jeans three times in one week. So I'm gonna take two pairs of jeans. Let me go grab those. I'm gonna take a light wash pair and a dark wash pair. That should do it. Jeans, jeans, jeans. Checking off the pieces I've already pulled. I've planned three sweater outfits, but only one needs to be a cardigan. I only noted that one of them needs to be a cardigan sweater. The Thanksgiving day that I'm gonna dress in layers so that I can easily shed or add whatever I need based on the temperature at the time is the day that I'm gonna wear the cardigan. So I'm gonna grab my cardigan. Check off the cardigan. So for Monday and Friday outfits, on Monday I planned the jeans and a sweater outfit, and on Friday I'm planning for a skirt and a sweater outfit. So because the bottoms are gonna be different, I'm just gonna use the same sweater on both days. I can do that, let me grab a sweater. This simple cotton V-neck sweater looks good with jeans, looks great with a skirt, it'll work. Now I need a cami to wear under this cardigan, and my ivory silk cami is my go-to because it's my absolute favorite. I need a skirt to wear with that sweater for my skirt outfit day. So I'm going through and looking to see what I've already checked off and what I still need to pull for. And I still need to pull a hoodie to wear with those faux leather leggings or some other type of really comfortable top for the day that I'll be working in the closet. And I also need to pull a top that I'll be wearing with jeans while we're doing Thanksgiving meal prep and game prep the day before Thanksgiving. So let me go pull those pieces. For the working in the closet day, I'm just gonna wear an oversized button up because it's so comfortable and I can move around in it easily. That'll work. So it's not a hoodie, but it's close enough. And then I need a meal prep top. And that one will work just fine. For my boat travel days, I'm just gonna wear these super lightweight Hey Dude slip-ons because they have grippy surface, which is something you definitely need when you're walking around on the outside of a boat while you're traveling. And they're lightweight, easy to slip on and off. Because let's be real, I'll be barefoot almost the whole time anyway. Now I do have two outfits where I plan boots, but I think instead of boots, I'm going to take these booties because they look cute with jeans and they also still look cute with a skirt. So I can take this one pair of little booties and wear it with both outfits. So that's a good plan. All right, so while I don't really generally wear anything other than my underclothes under a hoodie when I'm traveling by boat, I am going to grab just a plain, simple white t-shirt to have if I do wanna wear it under my hoodie if it's a little bit colder than it usually is. So that's it, that's all the pieces I need. Now I am definitely somebody that likes to accessorize an outfit, so I'm going to go pull accessories to take with me so that I feel like myself while I'm traveling and I'll be right back. Have y'all ever seen those people on YouTube who fold clothes and it's like so relaxing to watch and everything looks so perfect and so well done? Um, because I have and I love that stuff, but I'm just not that person. So I hope that doesn't disappoint. <laughs> So this is it. This is all I need to take with me for the week of Thanksgiving, traveling by boat to go visit my family. Now under normal circumstances, when I'm not traveling by boat, I would be packing all of this away in a carry-on suitcase and rolling out for my trip on with my life. But because I am traveling by boat this week, I'm not taking a carry-on suitcase. In fact, I'm not taking a suitcase at all because suitcases take up way too much room on the boat. So I am carrying this bag that folds completely flat. It's from 31 Gifts. I'll link it down below. I don't have a sponsorship or anything with them. I don't know anything about them, but um, I do use their bags. I have several of these and they work really, really well. What I love about it is that I can pack all my stuff in it and then when I unpack on the boat, put everything away in my closet, it just folds completely flat and fits up under the bed because a suitcase will certainly not fit under the bed of a boat. But I do pack the same way I would pack if I was using a suitcase. Shoes first, then the bulkiest items. and then fill in the spaces with the others. So all I need to do now is add some undies and some jammies and I'm ready to go. And it's just that easy. 
Now this is the exact process I use every time I'm packing for every trip I go on, even down to the worksheet. And as a frequent traveler, I am so glad that I have learned that just a little bit of planning and organization up front before you start pulling your items to pack makes everything flow so much easier. And you actually have everything you need when you get to where you're going. And really, that's what we all want, right? We wanna have everything we need when we get to where we're going. So if you've made it to this point in the video and you enjoy content around wardrobe, packing, planning, organizing, all that good stuff, I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel if you're ready to subscribe. If you're not ready, that's okay, no worries. No harm, no foul, no problem at all. Because you always have an open invitation to come back and hang out anytime you like because I'll be here, I'll be right here making videos. So until I see you in the next video, bye y'all.